Over the course of his seven-decade career, the shows Norman Lear created changed television and the people who watched it, tackling serious social issues like sexuality, feminism, and race. One, two, three. At the heart of it all was humanity, something he discussed on Today many times over the years. I'm in love with the importance of sharing what is common to us in our own humanity. Every version of us. He sat down with Al to catch up over pastrami sandwiches in 2016. When you look at the body of your work, what are you most proud of? Oh, often I hear my dad, my dad, how he laughed, and he was a head of touch of Archie, and then that we laughed together. Because I believe to my toes that as human beings, we have versions of one another. And this is only Lionel. He lives next door. <laughs> my daughter's married to the white guy over here. As for his longevity, what's the secret? I think it has as much to do with living in the moment as anything. Living in the moment and laughter. An icon in the entertainment industry, the prolific writer and producer dedicated much of his life to causes he was passionate about. Every generation, Americans need to be reminded once again uh, that, uh, that these liberties must be protected. Though he found great success, he was never in it for the accolades, nor the money. I mean, you're, you're at a stage where most people would be content to rest on their residuals. You're not. No, there's a new conversation in the 90s, and I like to be part of the conversation. Last year, Lear joined me to talk about the rise of anti-Semitism in America. Norman, you have not shied away from calling out hate when you see it. America has not realized all of its promise, but the promise is nonetheless there. Many of Lear's famous collaborators paying tribute. He was a second father to me, and Norman uh, showed me how you could use your celebrity, use your fame to uh, advance uh, issues that you cared about. As for Lear and how he wanted to be remembered. Do you think about your legacy? I would say he mattered, but only if I could help people understand that's true of all of us. Every day is another production. In an extraordinarily moving tribute overnight, all of the major television networks, including NBC, simultaneously aired an in-memoriam card to the TV giant. Lyra survived by his wife, Lynn, and his six children. The family shared in a statement. He often said, am I not the luckiest dude? It seems gratitude and laughter, you guys, are the secret to living to 101 years young. Mm -hmm. Yes, it would seem that way. Jacob, mm -hmm. so well forced there. Jacob, thank you. And you yeah. had one of the last conversations with Well, him. he changed the face of television and realized you could deal with substantive issues mm -hmm. and make people laugh at the same time. And even, you know, reminding people about America, he and a partner purchased a copy of the Declaration of oh. Independence right. and took it around the country so that we could see what freedom and democracy mean. So, you know, he, he really put his money wow. where his mouth was. Well, wow, wow, you'll be missed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.